I say welcome back so weird. If I could ever just be like, welcome back or welcome back. I don't know, okay, anyways. So this is a video that I really didn't ever see myself doing because usually when I see them, it's makeup or hair and stuff and I'm not really good at those things. But a lot of stuff I have, I've been getting a lot of questions about. So I figured I'd answer them all here in a favorites video. But as a warning, this isn't going to be like most people's favorites video. It's going to be like a bunch of really random weird things, but these are my favorite things. Number one, I have to get this out of the way. This, people ask me all the time what this is. It is called a pop socket. It is really actually amazing, like revolutionary. This thing has changed my life. That is really pathetic when I think about it. It collapses and it's easier to hold if you go running. It's easier to take selfies. It's a lot easier for texting. It's just a lot easier to do this as opposed to this, I don't think a day has gone by where somebody does not ask me about it. Look at this, look at this. This is a pop socket with my face on it. But you can upload your own images. And I think that they thought that I would put this on my phone. I'm not gonna walk around with like my face on my own phone, I think that's really cheesy. Oh, also, I never thought that I would be this girl, but people keep giving me codes. Now that I'm actually talking about the products, I figured I might as well share them because if you like the products, if you want them, then you might as well save money on them. Okay, so my code is Gabby Pops, and it takes 15% off of your order. So if you want a pop socket, use the code. I'll link it below. Okay, oh, this onesie I'm wearing is actually obsession. I feel the need for sleep. This is from a brand called One Piece, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, it's One Piece. Yeah, they sent me so many hoodies and sweatpants and onesies. It is the coolest material ever and it is so comfortable. And the thing I like about this onesie is most onesies are so baggy and this one's very slim fitting, kind of flattering in a really weird way. <laughs> great material, great brand, I love them. Um, I feel like they also gave me a discount code. Yeah, they did. Um, it is just Gabby. Again, I'll link that below if you're interested. If you do end up getting something from them, just use the code. If you're gonna buy it, you might as well save money. Another thing I really like is these shoes. And I have to be honest, I don't wear them that often, even though they're really cool, just because I'm not always that bold. They're from, um, they're Vans, but they're from the Truth Campaign. And the reason I like them so much is because I recently did a national commercial for Truth, which keep an eye out. <laughs> I'll be like linking that on my Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and everything else I have because I'm gonna be so excited when it airs. And they remind me of my first commercial. I'm pretty sure you can buy these at vans.com slash truth. Let me double check that. Yeah, vans.com slash truth. Speaking of shoes, these are already so dirty because I hike in them a lot. You know, I hike so much. I'm so fit. No, but seriously, Asics are the best workout shoes in the entire world. These are like walking on a cloud. I'm so obsessed. They're not like the most attractive shoes, but the best support, the best comfort. I love these so much, but you have to be careful what ones you buy because I bought these, also Asics, thinking that they were these, but these ones are Fluid Ride. And another kind that I like is Duo Gel Max, which I haven't been able to find here in California yet. This, so simple, I don't know why I've never thought to use it before in my life, but it was actually my sister when I visited home that turned me onto it. And this is Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. It's $7 and it's amazing. I get really bad cystic acne. My skin for the most part is clear, but when I do get a pimple, it's very large, very hard, very painful, and possible to pop. And my sister, when I was staying at her house, let me use her this stuff, and it changed everything. As soon as I start feeling a pimple coming, I use this stuff, and it either stops it in its tracks, I sound like a commercial right now, it either stops the pimple from coming or reduces the size significantly. I love this. This watch I'm absolutely obsessed with. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know how to make things focus and that makes me real sad. But this is a Michael Kors watch, but the face of it is a map, like the globe. I wear this with everything. Yeah. While we are doing jewelry, I have this necklace and it looks kind of crazy right now, but it's this gold bow tie and you wear it under a collared shirt and all you see is the bow part. This is actually an antique. My sister gave it to me. I forget where she said she got it. I think somebody died. I'm not even kidding. This chapstick 
is life. It's Blistex Soft and Lush. And I've never been somebody to get really ch- uh, uh. I've never been somebody that gets really chapped lips, I don't think. This stuff is just so, so soft and it smells like cocoa butter. I just really love it. These headphones are so adorable. There is a little burger and a little french fry. They don't really stay in my ears as well as I hope they would because I have really tiny ears. I just think they're so cute. Anything that has food on it, I really love. I also got them in donuts for my little sister Genevieve because she's obsessed with donuts. These are from Ankit. They have fun little novelty pieces like this. This is one of those really stupid things that I was talking about <laughs> that nobody else would ever put in their favorites video, but I will. But this is a sleep mask. It's from Wild Fox, which means it's the softest material ever. I have this thing, and my sister will attest to this. I cannot sleep without covering my eyes. It's not just like darkness. I need actual pressure pushing on my eyes. For the longest time of my life, I would take my blankets and wrap them around my eyeballs and then wrap them around my neck and just leave myself like a little mouth hole to breathe out of. Sometimes I would just pile pillows all over my face. And that's no way to live, man, especially in California because it's hot all the time. So I can't just be wrapping my head in blankets to sleep. So I had to find another way to sleep. I don't think I can sleep without it at this point. Ugh, I recently just rediscovered these. I lost them for years and then I went home. Finally, I found my Nightmare Before Christmas slippers. Moving on. You guys already know about my obsession with candles, especially candles that smell like baked goods. So I found these candles. This one's vanilla cupcake, I think. They have rings inside of them. So you burn the candle to about here and then you take the ring out. The ring is valued anywhere between, I think, $10 and $10,000 or something. It comes with a code and you go online and you find out how much your ring is worth. I burn candles anyway and just to get a little prize at the end is really cool and not knowing how much it's worth is really cool. So far, all of my rings are worth $10, but I don't care. Half of you are gonna think this is the most disgusting jacket in the world, and half of you are gonna think it's the coolest jacket in the world. It is sequin camo. I like the sleeves, how they have the white and black stripes on them. You could dress it up or dress it down. I could see myself wearing it with sneakers or heels. I haven't worn it yet because I feel like I'm waiting for the right moment, which is something I do too much where I buy something I really love and then I keep waiting for the right moment to wear it and I just never wear it. Okay, I've stayed away from American Apparel for as long as I could. And then um, when I was on set for that commercial, they brought me these high-waisted jeans from American Apparel and I was like, those aren't gonna fit me. I don't even wanna try. And the wardrobe stylist was like, no, you really have to try them. These are going to look amazing on your body. And she was so right. These are just regular high-waisted American Apparel jeans. I have them in blue and black. They honestly have transformed my entire wardrobe. As you guys know, I travel a lot and I am busy a lot. I feel like I'm always in a car or an Uber. I also have an Uber code. It's Uber Gabby. But I don't always have time to sit down and read a book. But whether I'm on a plane or driving or getting ready in the morning. I really love using Audible. If you don't know what Audible is, it's basically you listen to your books. Right now I am reading or listening to rather. I know for a hundred percent fact that I'm going to pronounce his name wrong. Lullaby by Chuck Polly Polly Newick. Pala Nu Pala Newick. <laughs> it's the author of Fight Club. He also wrote Invisible Monsters, Choke. He's one of my favorite favorite authors and I've been meaning to read Lullaby for a really long time and haven't found the time. So in the morning when I'm taking my shower, doing my makeup, doing my hair, I just put it on Audible. Audible actually offered to give all of my viewers one free book. Go to audible.com slash Gabby. You can redeem your free book. So if there's something that you've been meaning to read, just go to audible.com slash Gabby. Also the URL is in the description so make sure to redeem that. It's literally free so you'd be crazy not to. <laughs> This stuff, it's called uh, Humidity Blocker Hold Level 2, and it's by Joyco. And I love this because I have really thin hair and it breaks really easily. This isn't like a super strong hold hairspray that's gonna make your hair really stiff. Just like a really nice misting finishing spray that calms down your frizz. One time I brought this on an airplane and it is 4.5 ounces. A guy took it out of my bag and he was gonna throw it away. And I looked at the TSA agent and I said, I really need that. Do not throw it away. I'll do anything. He let me keep it. This is a gift. If you know anything about um, Kick the PJ, he's a YouTuber. He's working on this project called Oscars Hotel and I played a part in it. I was this undead penguin. 
nicknamed Snow Pea, and he sent me this. Okay. It came with an Oscars Hotel t-shirt, bandana, and this is a portrait of my character Snow Pea. This little do not disturb thing. And a bunch of tattoos, stickers, thank you notes from PJ and the director. If you open this little drawer here, a little hotel soap with a octopus inside. Hotel pillow mints. And this is a key to all the episodes. I think they're on Vimeo. You should really check them out. PJ put his heart and soul into this. Just the places his imagination takes you is really, really amazing. I'm not just saying that because I'm in it because I'm only in it very briefly and I think episode three. Oh, also, favorite band. Ugh, I cannot get over 21 Pilots. I have not felt this way about a band in so long and I just feel so emotionally invested in them. Ooh, I have a favorite. My silver play button. This is for 100,000 subscribers and I didn't really get it till around 500,000 subscribers, but this means a lot to me and it is one of my favorite things of all time. I can't wait for my gold play button at a million. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so I can get my gold play button. But this means a lot to me because I've been a YouTube fan girl for, I mean, the majority of my life. For me to be recognized as a YouTuber now is just really cool. So thank you very much everybody for doing this. And obviously my all-time favorite thing ever of anything is my showstoppers! That's all you guys. You make my dreams come true. You make me happy. You give me somebody to talk to when there's nobody to talk to. And with that being said, I'm going to move on to showstopper of the week, which is... That was a weird drum roll. Gabriel Flores. Besides the fact that we have similar names, which I always think is cool, he shared my video on Facebook, which is really awesome. Facebook is something that I'm trying really hard to grow right now. So everybody that's supporting me by sharing my post on Facebook, I really appreciate. Thank you very much. And I also always see him on my Twitter and my Instagram and my you now. So I mean, he's everywhere, but the fact that he shared my Facebook video is the reason he shows Stopper of the Week. So thank you, dude. I love you always. You're always around. Thank you for always like retweeting and favoriting and sharing and supporting me your love you anyways that's all I got for you sorry if you're not a big fan of favorites videos but if this is something that you like give this video a thumbs up let me know your favorite things too obviously because I like trying out stuff that people recommend just make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my social media as always I love you very much and I'll see you next week these are a few of my favorite things when the dog bites when the bee stings when I'm feeling sad <laughs> Simply remember my favorite <laughs> things And then I don't feel so bad